What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another lead code SQL problem. This time we have a medium problem. This one's part of SQL 50 lead codes list of 50 SQL problems to get started with. Let's give this one a try. So this one's called immediate food delivery 2. It's listed 1174 and it's part of SQL 50's basic aggregate functions section, but it is marked as medium. So let's take a look at what we have in terms of the data. We have one table called delivery. It has a delivery ID customer ID, order date, and customer pref delivery date, which is the customer's preferred delivery date. If the customer's preferred delivery date is the same as the order date, then the order is called immediate. Otherwise, it is called scheduled. The first order of a customer is the order with the earliest order date that the customer made. It is guaranteed that a customer has precisely one first order. Write a solution to find the percentage of immediate orders in the first orders of all customers rounded to two decimal places. The result format is in the following example. We have this input table delivery, which has a delivery ID, customer ID, order date, and customer pref delivery date. And if the preferred customer delivery date is the same as the order date, then that means that has been a and immediate delivery, so same day delivery. Now, what the question really refers to is how many first deliveries a customer had were immediate deliveries. So of the first deliveries, how many were on the same day, so to say. Yeah, so let's double, triple check that against the problem statement. Write a solution to find the percentage of immediate orders in the first orders of all customers. And then we should round that to two decimal places, sorry. Yeah, so that's what we are stuck with. We only have this one table called delivery, which is nice for change. We don't have to combine anything, but let's think about how to get this output, which is only just one value in one column called immediate percentage. Yeah, so sort of working through the definitions, now is the time for us to think about how to split this problem up into sub problems. And I would say, since we want to find the percentage of immediate orders in the first orders of our customers, let's first get the first orders of our customers. And then based on that subset of orders, let's see whether these are immediate. If they are, we just have to use that to calculate the percentage. Maybe we could do something like an average calculation based on a certain value or flag we set, that could be true or false, or one or zero. And then it's just about rounding that. But the first step is really to get the list of orders that have been first orders. So let's think about how to do that. So I think there could be a couple ways. I think, yeah, let's make this a CTE, so a common table expression that is above the main code we're using just to refer to that later on. So with first orders as now follows the code. If you're unfamiliar with that syntax, it really just is creating a temporary table that you can refer to later on in your query. But yeah, in order to get the first order of a customer or the, the order date of the first order, we will just take the customer ID and then the minimum order date of that customer from this table called delivery. And if we group that by the customer ID, this should give us a list of customer IDs and when they made their first order. Now this doesn't give us the delivery ID of the first order ID, but I think that's enough to sort of look up whether our order has been a first order. So if we now create our main code here and sort of create, uh, calculate that percentage, we can sort of refer to that first orders table to look up whether that order has been a first order by joining or just looking up the actual values using a where in statement. Yeah, so let's get back to what we actually want to calculate. Find the percentage of immediate orders. 
So for immediate orders, the definition is that order date equals the customer, let's just copy that, customer preferred delivery date. And the reason why I just can make that equal comparison is because we have both of these columns in a single row. So I can just say, does that value equal that value? It would be similar to saying, is that order date lower than a specific date? But in this case, we're comparing one column value to another column's value. Yeah, so that should evaluate to one or zero. And if we sort of put that into brackets and apply an average function, that should give us the average value of that one or zero evaluation. And that way we get the percentage of how many times this was true. How many times was the order date, the preferred delivery date? How many times was this actually an immediate order? Because that is the definition that we had in the problem statement. Now, if you're still following, you're just selecting that from delivery, but there's one thing missing. So why did we come up with that first orders table? If we're not using it, well, we're using it now. So in order to make sure we are only considering immediate or only first orders. We want to join first orders based on the customer ID and order date combination showing up in this first orders table. So delivery.customer ID should equal first orders.customer ID and the date should also be the same. So delivery dot order date should be first orders dot order date. In order for that to work, this actually needs to be called order date. So yeah, so just keeping the name. Otherwise, if I apply that min function, it might just call the output column min or min order date, but I wanted to have that name so I can refer to it here. I could choose a different name, but that should be, yeah, the easiest thing to do here. All right, so that join will make sure that we're only taking deliveries that have been first orders because we're matching this first orders table and sort of reducing values that we're looking at by making sure they appear in this table. Yeah, so that should pretty much give us what we want. We would still need to apply this rounding that's mentioned here, rounding to two decimal places, and that should work in MySQL. Let's check whether I have any typos or not and run this to see if it's accepted. Oh yeah, order date in this field list is ambiguous, so I'll have to choose one of the tables to take the order date from because it appears in both tables. Okay, so we get the expected output. We just have a different format than what is expected from the test cases. So for this output column, it should be called immediate percentage. So let's copy paste that name. And then we also want to have this be a full number for percentages and not a value between zero and one. So we'll have to multiply this by 100 in order to get this representation. But yeah, looking at it, that should really take us there. I will submit this solution just to make sure it passes all the test cases. And then I'll talk about some different approaches you could use here. So in terms of alternative approaches, you could use a where in statement here instead of the join, which does the same thing in terms of making sure the records are in the first orders table. This might read better, but it's MySQL exclusive. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to say where customer ID order date. So that combination of columns is in the first orders table. And I think in order for the lookup to work, I'll have to select star from 
first orders. Yeah, because first orders has custom ID and order date. Let's see if this runs, because if I would just supply first orders, it probably wouldn't run. Yeah, so you'll have to select star from first orders here. Maybe in terms of the format, since you'll have to select something here anyways, you could just make this a subquery instead of a CTE and maybe structure it like this. So yeah, so the CTE, you will move it to the subquery in here and do the lookup here and that'll work just as well. So that's a very clean solution as well. I think from how we got to the solution, it makes sense to first build the CTE or the subquery and then apply your calculation because yeah, you'll have to know what you're selecting from before you're doing the selection. So yeah, it just seemed logical to do it this way. So I have one more alternative solution for you, which is one I originally posted here on Lead Code over five years ago. So if you go to the solutions tab, you'll see a bunch of solutions. Mine didn't get any upvotes, but I think it's a very cool one because it's pretty much optimal in terms of the amount of code that's required. I think I can shorten it even more. And if you take a look at the timestamp, it's dated December 2nd, 2019. Yeah, got a bunch of karma on lead code for posting a lot of solutions. So yeah, if you're looking around the solutions section, you might stumble upon some solutions from me as well. So you supposed to post them. So let's take a look at this solution though. I wrote here, approach this solution inside out, starting from the subquery. Basically, we check for how many people it is true that their first order is immediate and divide by the total number of customers. Multiplying by 100 and rounding, rounding to two decimal places or digits for formatting. Yeah, I think I'll explain the solution quickly, but I can shorten it a bit more. Yeah, so I'm also creating a subquery here called lookup, which is taking the minimum order date and the minimum customer preferred delivery date from this delivery table and groups this by customer ID. So for each customer, we get the minimum order date and the minimum preferred delivery date. And then instead of selecting the two columns, I just compare them using the equal sign and see if that is a match. And yeah, I'm calling that comparison column A, which is bad form. But yeah, this will just give me true or false or one and zero values in MySQL. So yeah, I'll be left with a bunch of one and zeros and I'll have the minimum order date and the preferred delivery date. And I'll look up whether this has been the same date. Yeah, so I have one per customer and this is basically the comparison we want to make. What's the first order date? The first order also an immediate order. So all I have to do is to take this list of values and calculate the percentage. So what I did here and why I'm talking around this is I took the sum and then divided by the number of total values or rows, but I could just take the average, which should make it a lot easier. So average of lookup.a will give me what I want. I can remove this division. I'll still have to multiply this by 100 just to get the output format to be 50 and not 0.5 for this first test case, and then I'm still rounding to two decimal places. So let's see if the solution still runs after five years and whether it is also accepted. So it is accepted. Um, let's see if the solution is accepted and all test cases pass. And it does. So pretty cool to revisit my old solution. I think actually retrying this problem after five years, I first came up with that first solution I showed you just because it seems more natural, but that is a way to really reduce it down even further. You'll just have to think about how to explain this easily in an interview. I think the first solution was easier to explain. So this video turned out to be quite long because we talked about a few different solutions, it had a few hiccups with the output format, but that's pretty much it for this problem. We're getting into medium territory. We're going through all of lead code SQL 50. So if you want to follow along, here's the playlist and Otherwise, just keep your eyes peeled for new videos coming out and yeah, see each other again. Until next time, bye-bye.